In this session, let us understand the meaning of operating costing. With respect to operating costing, we have to understand it is a method for ascertaining the cost of providing a service. So operating costing is more concerned with identifying the cost of service and this method is not applicable for production of commodities. So here the focus is on service. This costing method is usually made use by uh, players like uh, transport companies okay and it can be made use by uh, gas and works departments it can be made use by electricity supply companies because they provide services and it can be made use by canteens hospitals schools theaters etc so the emphasis on operating costing is ascertaining the cost of services rather than the cost of the commodity for finding the operating cost it is necessary to decide about the unit for which cost have to be computed and this would require the study of some technical and operating data to find out the factors which have bearing on the cost the cost units usually used in various service undertakings let's discuss one by one let's say it's going to be a transport service okay in case of transport service the cost unit can be like a passenger kilometer or it can be like a quintal kilometer or it can be even a per ton kilometer right so that's the case with a transport service and let's say it is supply service in case of supply service units then the unit factor may be in kilowatts per hour or it can be a cubic uh, meter or it can be in terms of per kg or it can be even per liter right similarly in case of hospitals in case of hospitals it can be like a, a patient per day or it can be a room per day it can be a room per bed or it can be per operation so there are various uh, uh, factors that have to be considered and if you take a canteen it can be per item or per meal and if you take uh, the cinemas it can be per ticket so composite units that is uh, i mean expressing two different uh, factors say for example ton kilometers or quintal kilometers where you are linking the tons and kilometer you are linking the quintal and kilometer so we'll write uh, both the methods the first one is absolute it can be the weighted average uh, tons kilometers and the second one is commercial which is nothing but a simple average and it can also be expressed in tons kilometers so absolute tons kilometers or sum total of uh, uh, tons kilometers arrived at by multiplying the various distances by respective load quantities here we are going to multiply the distances with load quantity whereas in case of commercial that is simple average tons kilometers uh, you arrive at this factor or this composite unit by multiplying the total distance with average load quantity so in the next session we will take an example to understand this composite units let's take this case study to understand the computation of absolute tons kilometers and commercial tons kilometers we'll start from here a lorry starts with a load of 20 tons of goods from station a it unloads 8 tons at station b and rest of goods at station c it reaches back directly to station a after getting reloaded with 16 tons of goods at station C. 
the distance between station A to B, B to C and then C to A are 80 kilometers, 120 kilometers and 160 kilometers respectively. You have to compute what is absolute tons kilometers and commercial tons kilometers. So in previous session we have seen what is absolute tons kilometers and commercial tons kilometers. Absolute tons kilometers are the sum total of tons kilometers which is arrived by multiplying the various distances by respective load quantities whereas commercial tons kilometers is nothing but a simple average that is it is arrived by multiplying the total distance kilometers by average load quantity. Let's see how it works. First we have to calculate absolute tons in kilometers. So we have to see how this lorry was moving I mean it started from station A right it started from station A and it went up to station B so from station A to station B it actually carried a 20 tons okay and if you see the kilometers between station A to B it is actually 80 kilometers then from station B it moved on to station C so I'll write here from station B it moved on to station C and between station B to C it carried uh, uh, 12 tons because in station B it has uh, uh, unloaded 8 tons so from station B to C it carried only 12 tons and the distance between station B to C is 160 kilometers then from Station C it had come back to station A so I'll write here from station C it had come back to station A and it carried 16 tons from station C to station A so I'll write here it is 16 tons and the distance I'm sorry a small mistake here I've mentioned this is 160 kilometers actually if you go by the question the distance between B to C is only 120 kilometers. So I'll modify this. It is only 120 kilometers, whereas the distance between the station C to A is 160 kilometers. So now if you want to find absolute tons kilometers what you have to do is you have to multiply this tons with kilometers so I'll write here absolute tons kilometers for station A to B it is uh, 20 tons into 80 kilometers so it's going to be a thousand uh, six hundred tons kilometer right so I'll just put it as TK it is 1600 tons kilometers and uh, between station B to C it is actually 12 tons into 120 kilometers so 120 kilometers into 12 tons is going to give you 1440 tons kilometers and the third one it is 16 tons into 160 kilometers and it is 2560 tons kilometers so now we have to total all the three so I'll do that total is going to be 5600 tons kilometers so if you are going to go by this absolute tons kilometers it's actually 5600 tons kilometers but uh, what it would be if you calculate what is the commercial tons kilometer so I'll put it here commercial tons kilometers under commercial tons kilometers we have to find what is the average load quantity so I'll write here we have to find what is the average load quantity we know the loads that were carried were 20 tons then 12 tons then 16 tons okay so we have to take the average of this so divided by 3 and that would give us the average uh, tons or the quantity that were carried and multiply that by total distance traveled so what is the total distance that is traveled so we'll put it here 
total distance traveled is from A to B, B to C, then from C to A and it is actually 80 kilometers plus 120 kilometers plus 160 kilometers which is nothing but 360 kilometers. So here I'll put it here. So it is multiplied by 360 kilometers. So we get the tons kilometers as 5760 tons kilometers. So if you go by commercial tons kilometers, you will have 5760 tons kilometers and if you go by the absolute tons kilometers, it will be 5600 tons kilometers.